one of you is bound to hatch a huge eventually. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video, I'm going to go over the top five fastest methods to get a huge pet that any player can do completely free to play. And all of these methods are actually really useful. I had to get a little bit of help in this video to ask other people some stuff. And there's a few things that I'm about to talk about that I didn't even know. So yeah, let's start off with the first method. I've mentioned this before a few weeks ago, but it's really important and I have to cover it again. If you aren't doing your achievements, then I don't know what you're doing. This very first method can get you a huge pet in like a day and a half or two days of literally AFKing. You don't have to do anything at all. So yeah, this first method is going to be completing this Diamond Breakables quest, and you'll get a royalty charm that is 3 million diamonds. Currently, the cheapest huge pet is a Happy Rock at 5.67 million, so that's not enough to get your first huge. So, while you're doing this Diamond Breakables quest, you also want to be doing this egg opening quest, because not only will you get Lucky Eggs 5 and tons of lucky eggs potions that are worth hundreds of thousands of gems you'll also get this huge hunter enchant that is 3.54 million diamonds so if you add it on to these books and potions you get 4 million diamonds worth of stuff just for opening eggs and then back up here you get another 3 million diamonds just for breaking breakables so the way that i completed these achievements super quick in the first week of the game was i auto farmed right here and broke all these super easy breakables. Just make sure your auto farm works properly. Now, for the people that don't have auto farm, you can still do this without auto farming. You just won't be able to open eggs at the same time. But if you have the auto farm game pass, the cheapest and best game pass in the game, you can just auto farm here while you go and open up any egg that you want. If you're not that rich, you don't have that many coins. If you really wanted to just do this only for the achievement, you could just open up egg one while you farm right there. And if you leave this AFK for around a day and a half, you'll have enough breakables and enough and enough eggs opened for these achievements. Now, this is like a part two to the same method because there's other achievements that you can do to make tons of diamonds. If you break 7,150 big chests, then you get this chest breaker achievement. And I heard that doing the chest rush counts towards this achievement, and I don't think that that is true. I've done the chest rush quite a few times, and it says we've only done five chests ever. So let me go to the chest rush and see, because I'm pretty sure this chest rush doesn't help. Okay, yeah, the chest rush doesn't do anything. I just broke three big chests. It did nothing. So I actually don't know how this achievement is really possible. There's only two big chests right now. There's one right here. Oh, wait, no, there's there's more than two. There's another big chest over here by the daycare. And then I think there's a third big chest that they recently added in. Yeah, area 70. There's a third big chest that they added in. These chests spawn in every 10 minutes. So kind of a bad example. You could get 125 million diamonds if you got all these big chests done, but obviously that's a little unrealistic. So the breakables and the eggs one, that one is super easy, and it's what I would recommend. Literally anyone can do the eggs and the breakables. You can just open the first egg and break breakables in the first area if you really want. And you can also use alt accounts for this. If you really wanted to, pull up like nine alt accounts, rank them all up a few times, get some egg opens, and then just have them all open the first egg and break breakables in the first few areas. You could just do that with tons of alt accounts, and then just leave them running for a few days, and then get a bunch of free royalty charms, and a bunch of free huge hunter enchants. So yeah, if you do this method with alt accounts as well, that's when it starts getting kind of crazy. Okay, so for the second method is hatching huge pets. Now, I know, this is really hard to do as a free-to-play player, 
player. The Huge Hunter enchant is 100 times better than the Huge Hunter... Wait, the, the Huge Hunter game pass is 100 times better than the Huge Hunter enchant. I almost said that backwards. So for a free-to-play player, hatching a huge is really hard, but you can also use alt accounts for this method as well. If you guys saw my video from yesterday, I talked about the fastest way to hatch a huge, and in the method, I said you can get a bunch of friends or a bunch of alt accounts that all farm in the final area together while one person uses Tiny Task to place down a magnet flag, and then everyone can keep farming coins and items while they're constantly opening eggs. So if you did this with a bunch of friends or alt accounts, if you're just 24-7 hatching while you're farming in the final area, and you're going to be getting so many free items while farming that the magnet flags that the one account is placing down every five minutes wouldn't even be expensive at all. And for the third method, you can use stuff like the daycare and the garden to passively get diamonds. So obviously you can work on your achievements, you can hatch, but every once in a while, just go claim your daycare. There's 10,000 free diamonds and a bunch of other items, and I literally put in like super bad pets weeks ago. If I wanted to put in some really good pets, then you can get a lot more diamonds. As you can see, my luck level is only 42 because these pets aren't that, that good. But my luck level would be even lower if I put in something like this. Lucky level 10, barely get anything. So the better pets you put in, the more your luck level is going to be, and you'll get better rewards. So you can just passively do this while you're doing other diamond farms or hatching or working on your achievements or trading or anything like that. And then you can go over to the garden and plant diamond seeds. So just collect your daycare, put more pets in, and then go over to the farm, plant some more diamond seeds, collect your previous diamond seeds. So we can just go like this, get some free diamonds, every couple of hours while we're doing our other farms. This is more of a passive farm, just go check on it, claim free stuff every few hours. There's pretty much no reason not to do it if you're still working on getting your first huge. And then for the fourth method, you want to do diamond farms in the final area or just item farm in the final area. And you can use alts for this as well. Actually, you can use all your alts for the daycare in the garden as well. If you have a bunch of alts, why don't you just put in a bunch of good stat pets and all those alts into the daycare every few hours? You can make millions of diamonds a day if you have a bunch of alts constantly putting stuff in the daycare and garden. And then same thing with this method. If you want a diamond farm in the final area, you could do that with a couple of alts as well, and then all of your alts would be making diamonds. Or you could just item farm in the final area with a bunch of alts while you're hatching eggs at the same time. Because people forget that while you're farming, you're getting a bunch of items for free, you're getting a bunch of diamonds for free, so if you do the hatching method that I talked about in my previous video, where you have one person constantly placing down diamond flags with tiny task, you and a bunch of alts, or you and a bunch of your friends could all farm in the final area while you're constantly hatching eggs. So if none of you hatch a huge pet, you'll still be all getting tons of free diamonds and free items and other free stat pets just from hatching. And you can always go and resell that stuff to get even more diamonds. And then for the final fifth method is you could snipe a huge pet in the trading plaza. The prices are constantly going up and down, and every once in a while you can find a really good deal in the auction, or just in somebody's booth where something is really cheap. If you guys have seen any of my Doggy to Titanic videos, that's where a lot of my really big profit comes from. I'll find a huge pet that's worth like 14 million, and it'll be in somebody's booth for 10, and then I go resell it and make millions profit. Like that literally happened in my last Dog at a Titanic video, I found a huge floppa and a huge nightmare. I think I found a huge floppa and a huge nightfall pegasus that were 10 million each. And those pets were worth like 13 to 14 million each. So I just instantly bought both of those and made millions of profit off of both of them. But if you don't have enough diamonds yet to snipe a huge and get a good deal so you don't have to pay the full price, then you can always just keep flipping items in the trading plaza. You can use all 
all the methods that I taught you guys about earlier in the video. You can do your achievements and then sell those items. Maybe you could find some more for cheaper and then sell them for the same price you did again and just keep making profit flipping enchants or flipping exclusive pets, Robux eggs. There's a lot of small things that you can flip before you have enough for a huge pet. And if you guys go and watch my first two Dog at a Titanic videos, if you need some examples, there's plenty of examples in the first two Dog at a Titanic videos of how to flip stuff before you have enough for a huge. So yeah, I hope these five methods are able to help some of you guys out. I'll just go over them one more time really quick to refresh your memory. Get the rewards from all the achievements that you can do quickly. You can also hatch a huge pet using alt accounts as well and farm in the final area, getting a bunch of diamonds and items for free while one of the alt accounts uses tiny task to constantly place magnet flags. So you can be hatching for huges while you're farming diamonds and a bunch of items that you can sell to get huges as well. Third method was the daycare in the garden. You can do that with alt accounts as well and just constantly put in stat pets on all the alt accounts into the daycare and just get hundreds of thousands of diamonds for free every single time. The fourth method is diamond farming the final area that you can use alts for or item farming the final area that you can use alts for as well. If you don't have alts, then you can always just farm with friends. And if you guys don't have ton of huges and titanics and stuff, then farming together, whether it's with friends or alts, is just better. You break stuff way quicker and you make a lot more. And then for the final fifth method is sniping huge pets in the trading plaza, either in the auction or the booth, so that you can get them for a discount if you don't have enough to pay full price for a huge yet and also just flipping smaller items in the trading plaza if you don't have enough for a huge yet as well so yeah like i said hopefully those five tips will help some of you guys out even if you already have huge pets these are still extremely useful tips all the different farming methods that you can do with alts are useful for literally anybody so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button comment some ideas for more future videos down below and subscribe if you have not already i'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.